Canned wine is no longer a fad. It's a $45 million business. Sales of canned wine grew 43% in the U.S. from June 2017 to June 2018. While canned wine is still a small portion of the wider industry, it's one of the fastest growing categories thanks to millennial drinkers. These young adults are drinking wine much earlier than previous generations, but they also don't have as much disposable income. Cost is part of what makes canned wine so appealing. According to executive wine editor Ray Isle from Food & Wine, millennials aren't looking to spend $70 on a bottle of wine. On average, a 750 milliliter bottle of wine can cost between $11 and $25, whereas canned wine drinkers pay about $4 to $7 for a 375 milliliter can. That's the equivalent of a half of a bottle, or about 2.5 glasses of wine. These cans can be brought to places that glasses cannot, like the beach, the park, and campsites. Wine cans are also easier to recycle than glass bottles and are seen as less pretentious to casual drinkers. And single servings of wine can be good for winemakers. 25% of wine consumers would be more open to trying new wines if they didn't have to buy a full-sized bottle. Over the last three years, the number of canned wine brands has grown from about a dozen to over 100, including big names like Barefoot, Trader Joe's, and Francis Coppola. In 2017, E&J Gallo Winery's Barefoot produced more than 12 million cans of wine spritzers. And so far this year, this category has grown 31.1%. Barefoot spritzer cans accounted for more than 58% of the table wine can category last year and 61% of the category in the last 52 weeks. House Wine currently has four of the top 10 canned wines on the market. And by the end of the year, canned wine will represent 50% of the brand's volume. The massive growth of the canned wine category can be attributed in part to Union Wine Company. Union Wine launched its wine in a can in 2014. Production of canned wine for the brand has outpaced its bottled wine. This year, 55% of its wine was packaged into cans. Despite its popularity, you still might encounter wine snobs that will say canned wine doesn't have the same romance as a traditional wine bottle. 